confined to tiny stalls that don't even allow mother pigs to turn around for most of their pregnancy. The first time that these animals will breathe fresh air is when they are on the back of a truck headed for the slaughterhouse. Many will go insane from the complete lack of stimulation. We're here uh, for the Great American Meat Out. It's the first day of spring and we're giving away veggie dogs and cupcakes to uh, help people see how they can live a compassionate lifestyle and still eat yummy food and uh, trying to get people to kick the meat habit. Well, there's a common myth about um, protein and people thinking that they're not gonna get enough protein if they don't eat meat. The reality is, is it's excess meat protein, animal protein, that's causing all the diseases that are killing people. Heart disease, stroke, diabetes, um, but 80% of what's killing us is directly related to our diet of too much meat. And so um, vegans and vegetarians get their protein from beans and uh, legumes and get plenty of protein. This is happening worldwide. And today we're focusing on the fact that factory farming um, really makes the most impact on the earth. It's land, it's water, and it's air. So what I was saying to people when they asked me to speak was, you can feed 400 people on what it takes to feed one steer. Therefore, we're asking people to start by going vegan on Mondays, because 20% more heart attacks occur on a Monday. You can even check that out by visiting three sites that say Heart Attack Mondays. When people see our video about how factory farm animals are raised and slaughtered, that's usually what gets them to decide really quickly that they don't like the suffering. 50 billion animals per year are born and tortured, frankly, until they're killed. In the case of chicken, layer chickens, it's five weeks. In the case of steer and cows, uh, it's about two years and then their lives are over. So if, uh, if that isn't enough motive, then we might think about our health. Uh, I just can't believe that we treat living things, living animals like that. There's got to be a different way. People will always eat meat, but my goodness, can we do it in a different way? We, this is torture. This is, I mean, this is like the Holocaust, what they did with the Jewish people, only worse. They're hanging them up by their back legs, slitting their throats and bleeding them while they're alive. No painkiller, no nothing. It, it honestly, it brought tears to my eyes when I first seen that. Is this gonna possibly change your eating habits at all? Uh, yes, it will. I'm gonna definitely, I, I can't just go off of meat like that. I, I do love meat, but I am going to eat less. I'm gonna eat more salad, more fruits and vegetables. And every time I do eat meat though, I'm gonna think about every time what's happening now. There was a recent UN study that showed that um, animal agriculture and methane gas produced by animal agriculture is the greatest cause of global warming, even greater than all of car exhaust from all the transportation around the planet. We really feel like, um, you know, going vegan is going to help your health, you're helping the planet, and you're helping the animals all at the same time. Uh, diabetes, heart attack, colon cancer, and other preventable disease can be reversed or prevented simply by, by the way that we eat. And the way we eat um, is a beautiful thing now because people are starting victory gardens again, which in turn gets us to meet one another as our neighbors again, come together in a really beautiful way, making ourselves healthy. One third of the Earth's land, 60% of the Earth's water, are used only for the sole purpose of raising animals for food. In Defense of Animals is www.idausa.org. Our office here is 503-249-9996. And uh, there's also meatout.org, which is another website you can go to. You don't have to live this way.